So let's see, this is a crude oil and this is a daily chart. First, uh, we have to find out the trend, right? So according to the projection method, right? So crude oil is just uh, forming lower low and lower high. Have you seen this one? From this area, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? So now you can see oil just uh, after getting this level of 3,533, just price up, just a little more push up. Uh, to the level of uh, 3,789 near, right? So after that, again, price just pulls down, but uh, they're not able to break this previous uh, lower point and uh, they create a lower, uh, higher low, right? So after that, price just pulls up the level of 4,153, right? So again, just price pulls down toward the level of, uh, right now, price is running 3,935. So we are expecting uh, the price will uh, retrace near this uh, level of uh, 3,789 because here we have seen this was previously resistant and uh, now they are forming a support. But uh, where is our entry point? So before we enter in this market, so we need a confirmation for buy or sell, right? So in which direction uh, we can go for buy or sell? But sometimes what happened here? Uh, price might reverse from this area, right? So how we will confirm that price are reversing from this area or it will retrace to this area. So that is why we have to confirm first, right? So let's check it here first. Now you can see price just uh, pushing upside, right? So I wanna draw here, is it there any supporting level? Right, if you wanna and uh, like, place like Fibonacci retracement here. Let me draw the Fibonacci. So now we can see here at uh, just a minute. Right, I wanna connect this higher point. Have you seen, I just connected uh, this higher point. Right, so the, uh, when price just there forming, this is uh, impulsive wave, right? This is the A point and this is the B point. Now you can see this is a C point and this is the D point, right? And you can see this E point retraced toward 50% of uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement. So, and here we have seen two confirmations, uh, two supporting lines. One is 50 and another 61% uh, retracement, right? So that is why I want to draw another supporting line according to Fibonacci, right? So. I wanna draw, I just drawn here. So now you can see this is, here you can see this is a supporting zone, right? So have you seen, this is this is called supporting zone, right? From this area, price might reverse. So that is why if you wanna go for, uh, go for buy, so we have to wait to break this level. So we'll discuss uh, at what level, right? So now let me show you. Now you can see, I wanna connect, let me zoom a little more here. So have you seen the previously market was just uh, bouncing from moving average? This is 20, right? 20, here you can see 20. So I wanna draw another line here for NT and exit. Now let me draw in a daily chart, right? Remember, this is a daily chart. So I drawn here. So let me remove now if you wanna see. And you can see now it will look like this. This is a daily chart. So if you wanna trade, so we will trade in between this area only. So I'll tell you where to enter in this market. Now you can see uh, this daily 20 moving average. Have you seen this uh, line? Have you seen this is exponential moving average? This blue line, 20 exponential moving average, right? So where I drawn this uh, horizontal line, you can see here, if you go to four hour chart, now you can see exactly they are forming here a resistant line, right? So automatically they are detecting here. Have you seen this is a higher point and automatically they are detecting because we are not uh, connecting by seeing this area. We are just connecting here by connecting 20 moving hours of daily. So we have seen this is a resistant line, right? And we have seen this is an engulfing pattern is forming here in a four hour chart, right? So where's your entry point? 
if you want to enter for the buy direction because if you see in a small uh, like a four hour chart here let me show you still price is running down uh, in a uh, running in a downtrend right so if you see here now price is just trying to break this level of three nine four five if in case they break this level so we'll start buying above this level not below remember our entry point and in case if you get any confirmation here near this resistance line we will start selling right we'll take a sell position to next target will be here right so it's a daily uh, sorry four hour four hour they are forming like that according to your price action method they're creating lower low and the lower high and the lower high might be here and next target might be here uh these are four hours are. now let's see for our end point if you see here in 15 minutes it should look like that so now we have seen a range right this is our range so you can see this is our range if you want to enter here if price break this level and when price will retrace toward this uh, 3945 we will start buying from this area it is our buy point right so next target will be uh, somewhere here in higher point sorry in lower point this will be our target and if you are getting here any sell signal will start selling and our target will be here right so that is why you have to wait and now you have to apply your trading strategy which strategy you are using some breakout uh, some people are using rsi some people are some people are using v wave whatever they are using so we'll use here if price break this level this resistance 3945 will start buying above this area right or you can say like that uh, this is the higher point this is the higher point if they break this level so we will start buying but not below remember because uh, in four hour and in 15 minute trend is down right so that is why we are looking for sell mostly right if in case okay just a minute let me check uh, any query question question yeah okay any query no right okay no query right okay i'm keeping here like that yeah so you can see price is running in this range this is our range right now this is our range and if you see here like that let me zoom a little more so this is our entry and exit point right here you can see if price break this level right three four we will start buying and target will be here and if we are getting any sell signal in this area so we will start selling and our target will be here right so once price comes here so we'll close our position here if they break again this level so we'll start selling from below this level not above remember below this level uh, 37 h7 and next target will be t5 so it will take two to three days but uh, today for intraday you can see here 15 minutes right if if you are getting any cell entry here it will call a uh, bounce back trading strategy so like that here uh, price just break this 200 moving average which is black just price fell down again pulls up uh, near 200 moving average again price fell down right again pulls up fell down so it's called bounce because the price is bouncing from moving average 200 right bouncing from 200 and similarly we are looking for any bounce signal here right if price not able to break this area and if you are getting any uh, candlestick pattern for bearish candlestick pattern so definitely we will start selling from this area and target will be uh, somewhere near this below area and your sl will be just above this area so here you can see this is a higher point and give you at least five to uh, ten point above this area 
and target will be around uh, according to your SEO, one is to two or one is to three will be there, right? If suppose if price break this level like that, if price break this level, suddenly in this market. So when price will uh, retrace and at that time moving average will be uh, becoming a support like that. So once uh, moving average form a support, so we'll start buying above this area and the target will be like right so this is uh oil our entry and exit point right so just a minute so any query okay anybody okay okay uh hi sir after entering this uh, trade how manage sl and target price according to your market condition intraday and positional trading okay good question so i think uh, if you uh, you are not able to uh, find out your support and resistance so you can use another indicator it's called atr so I think you've seen my previous video or sorry. ATR, you just always use ATR, right? ATR. Everest two range, have you seen this one? ATR, you just place like that. It will be 14 manually, keep it like that. And have you seen ATR? Now, how to use ATR, right? That means ATR, that means when you click here, have you seen? I just placing ATR, it's just showing 13. Have you seen this is ATR? Let me show you. ATR. Have you seen this one? ATR is running right now 12 or 13. Have you seen when we are clicking here? So right now we can see this is the ATR point. This is ATR. Have you seen 14 period I'm using, but right now ATR is running 13.44. So you can uh, say like that 13 or 14. Uh, that means ATR. So if you want to enter here, right? If you want to enter, if market suppose they break this level, right? So now you can see, you can use two ATR at least. Two ATR. Whereas two range, ATR. ATR, right? So if you wanna enter two ATR, that means right now ATR is running 13 or so, or you can say like 14, right? If you wanna enter 14, uh, two into ATR is what? 14, right? That means your SL will be, SL will be what? 28 point. Your SL will be 28 point. That means if you wanna enter here, If you want to enter here for the buy, your ATL will be like 28 point. Have you seen? This is this is your SL point. 20 point below 20 point and the 28 point you can see here. It will be your SL, ATR like SL and the target will be 2 ATR, right? And you can like keep it 4 ATR. 4 ATR will be, your 4 ATR will be for ATR, right? ATR. For ATR. That means four into four into uh, right now running 14. Right. And your target target will be six five. Or you can use three ATR also. That means 56 point. Or you can use like a uh, three ATR, then it will be less. Four ATR, it is showing 56 point, 56 point, 56, 50. Yeah, here. Your target is here and SL will be here, somewhere 28 point, right? Have you seen? So you can see here, just broke this level. So if you wanna enter here, so you uh, place your SL just below here, 28 point according to ATR. Got it? Uh, I think you uh, able to understand. 
okay always use if you are not able to find out the support and resistance so uh, that is why you just place a tier i think a tier is clear right okay any query and this will be your a tier now you can see here just broke this area have you seen so don't enter when market break this level I always tell you like that when mark, once market break this level uh, and wait to retrace this market once retrace and here will be some support line right and after that you just looking for a bullish candlestick pattern here like that and enter then if you are find any bullish candlestick pattern remember right and enter for the buy and next target you will find like uh, three ATR, three ATR. At least you can keep your three ATR or SL. You can uh, place like two ATR. Average yeah, two range. It is a uh, good indicator to place your SL. Right. Always remember that means ATR is right now here. That means ATR is running 14.5, and I'm using ATR manually 14 period. Remember. Okay. So this is uh, oil and oil already given by signal because if you see four hour here, you can see this is uh, 200 moving average are there. 200 moving average that's placing a resistance line here, right? So that is uh, why you just wait for buy signal, right? When Price, price will retrace in a small time frame, not now. When price will retrace toward this uh, supporting line, now it's becoming a support, and then enter, right? And uh, if you see in a daily, sorry, a daily time frame. So once remember one thing, if today market close above this area, remember this is a bullish candlestick pattern it's called engulfing pattern i think you remember this candlestick pattern right this is a small candle this one uh, bullish uh, sorry bearish so if the close here today if the close here or above so that means uh, this candle is angled by bullish candle this bearish candle is and this is like uh, bearish candle right and this is bullish candle that means uh, it's engulfed by bullish candle so when they are forming this type of candlestick pattern it is a sign of bullish so today if they close above so from monday it will go to this level right remember always uh, if you wanna know this like that here you can see this is the angle right here is the engulfing pattern right have you seen and this is bearish engulfing have you seen this is a bullish candle engulfed by bearish candle whole candle are engulfed by bearish candle similarly here you can see daily bullish right and bullish so after that price just gone up right so that is why we are looking for this type of candlestick pattern today right and remember once they break this level so where is your entry point suppose here was the engulf right uh it's engulfed by this and then you just place just below this previous candle silently so here like that uh this was higher point and anti point will be like that here somewhere above above this higher point previous right similarly here you can see this is a small candle was here and engulfed by this candle and place your sell order here like if tomorrow uh market open above this area like monday so you start buying above this closing point right or higher point if the higher point is closed like that and keep your buy entry above this area remember this is your entry point so that is why always uh, always uh, users find out that type of uh, pattern in candlestick right if you have any doubt about the candlestick pattern you just visit to allies blue page allies blue page all are written by me and go to end and iq page whatever you want you'll find here right go to and iq based stock market 
okay advisory monthly it's opening different and okay yeah this is the end iq page and go to pattern uh, if you want to see the chart pattern or candlestick pattern so daily you just go to candlestick pattern and you, you can see like this and uh, we have seen very ceramic engulfing we are looking for it engulfing pattern hanging man price action bullish bearish hammer contracting somewhere engulfing pattern are there somewhere engulfing pattern so i think engulfing evening star morning star bbs harami okay hanging man engulfing got somewhere so it's not looting still still looting this space this one engulfing pattern have you seen so you just click there read more engulfing pattern uh written by me so you'll find like that have you seen this engulfing bullish engulfing pattern and like this is a bullish engulfing pattern right so when they will form like the price was just like that it's coming like it is last candle so after that they form this type of candle have you seen uh, this is the higher point if you want to enter by just keep your buyer just above at least uh, uh, in crude oil at least 10 to 15 point above this higher point not not by seeing this candle if suppose if you see uh, seen this uh, uh, this type of pattern and market is running below this area don't enter by remember always enter by above this level when price will go up and when they will cross this previous higher point this is the previous higher point enter above at least 10 point above for buy right okay so i hope you are able to understand uh, one by one so do you have any query or okay 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 so do you have any query okay okay i hope you understand